Well, today is June 15th, a day many of you have had circled on your calendar, a big day here. Our state fully reopening, which means no more color-coded tiers for our counties. That also means capacity limits are going away and masks will not be required for fully vaccinated people in most places. News 8's Chris Groh live outside the county administration building with how our county is marking this occasion. Uh, a big celebration bright and early this morning. Bright and early, we got started around 6.30 in the morning, meant to sort of mark the beginning of the recovery process here, not only in San Diego County, but across California. But of course, Supervisor Nathan Fletcher speaking about how much hard work went into making sure that we could even get to this point. And you can see there the party going on, the music going on, and a lot of people having fun. Of course, this does, again, mark the end of that color-coded restriction system, which was put in place to try to essentially try to crack down on public gatherings, but then also tried to make sure uh, that those kind of uh, uh, groups wouldn't get together, that people would be able to try to get physical distancing in and try to restrict what they can to keep people safe. Of course, though, that hurt a lot of businesses unable to operate uh, for quite a long time or being able to operate and then no longer being able to operate. Again, uh, we saw just a number of people here from the county also kind of meeting up for the first time in a long time getting together. And of course, as I pointed out, we heard from Supervisor Nathan Fletcher as well. Take a listen. The last year and a half has been difficult. It's tested us. It has tried us. There's moments throughout the last year and a half where folks are like, I don't know if I can do this anymore, but we did. And we're here. There's a resiliency that has brought us through this. A community of individuals looking out for each other, of grandkids signing up their grandparents for vaccine appointments, of neighbors looking out for neighbors. And of course, the big question now is when and how and where you need to wear your mask because the mask mandate's gone, but of course it is going to be different if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. So uh, you're going to need a mask for now, according to Cal OSHA at the workplace, at restaurants. If you're vaccinated, you won't need one if the restaurant doesn't require it. The same for grocery stores, concerts, gyms, places of worship. Of course, federal transportation, airports, trains, things like that. You are going to still need to wear a mask even if you're vaccinated or not. So of course, this is a good reminder here just because June 15th means the reopening of the economy still want to hold on to these masks because they are going to be needed, especially as different businesses move either faster or slower based on how they want to proceed with their employees and their customers. Eric and Stella. So yeah, in a couple of days, we'll find out what's okay in the workplace as Cal OSHA is going to meet. The governor could make an emergency declaration right after that to implement those changes in the workplace. Right now, mm -hmm. that board is leaning towards uh, vaccinated people not having to wear masks in the workplace. And